Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And we have a pretty fun deck. There's a card in, in this particular deck that I have finally got to build around. Super, super stoked to be bringing you this deck. But as always, again, before we do, would like to remind everybody that if you enjoy the deck, the channel, and the video, please like, comment, subscribe, check out all those cool links down below. And also make sure to join the Discord, which is one of those links down below. With that being said, again, I just want to hop right into this deck because, again, I am excited to be playing it. And we are playing Ravenous Gift. So, again, this deck revolves around God Pharaoh's Gift, a really expensive card, um, mana-wise. So, seven mana artifact at the beginning of, of combat on your turn. You may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, you create a 4-4 token copy of that card that's a black zombie, uh, and it gains haste. So we are going to focus on cheating this into play with our friend, the Trash for Treasure. Yes, we have we have played with Trash for Treasure before, but um, Trash for Treasure, again, if you're not familiar, it's a three mana sorcery. Whenever you cast this spell, you have to sacrifice an artifact uh, as an additional cost, but you get to return any artifact card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So we are looking again to get a God Pharaoh's Gift into the graveyard very very quickly along with some you know pretty powerful creatures um you know ways that we can actually win pretty quickly and then we are going to trash or treasure this into play and then we're going to get our big beefy creatures and we're hopefully just going to win the game so how do we do that well the card that i was mentioning that we had not yet to play is goblin engineer again one of the modern horizons cards that was brought to you um you know brought to us by our our good friends at Wizards uh, in Jumpstart Historic uh, Horizons. So Goblin Engineer is a two mana, one, two Goblin. When it enters the battlefield, you can search your library for uh, any artifact card put into your graveyard. So um, that is a great ability because that's exactly what we're trying to do. We are trying to put that artifact into our graveyard to set it up for the trash or treasure. It does also have another ability, which I think is pretty cool, pretty powerful. Um, for one red mana and tap it, we can actually sacrifice an artifact uh, and then return any artifact from our graveyard that costs three or less from our graveyard to the battlefield. So this is actually going to turn on some pretty cool um, synergies in our deck. We are playing Icker Wellspring as um, one of our artifacts. So Icker Wellspring is just a two mana artifact and it when you, it, you draw a card whenever it comes into play and whenever it goes to the graveyard from the battlefield. So really cool synergies because we can draw a card when it comes into play, sack it with Goblin Engineer, and then if we have another one in the graveyard, we could bring that back, and then we're actually drawing two cards a turn because one is leaving the battlefield and one is entering, so we're gonna actually get triggers from uh, from both of those. We actually also are playing four copies of Treasure Vault, which is one of the cool uh, new lands from the, um, the, D the Dungeons and Dragons set. It's an artifact land, which is super important, again, because we can sacrifice this to the Trash for Treasure, it also makes treasure tokens in case we are kind of stalled off with a lot of mana. We can just make a bunch of treasure tokens and then we can we can sacrifice those. But what we are trying to do is we are trying to win with Marionette Master. So yes, you may have seen this combo before in the past, but Marionette Master is a six mana one three with, with Fabricate. Fabricate says when it comes into play, you get to either give it that many plus one plus one counters or you can put that many 1-1 one, one artifact servos into play. So we are looking to put servos into play because again, when we reanimate Marionette Master with God Pharaoh's Gift, it is going to be a 4-4. Four, four. So it would already be the power equal to the uh, Fabricate 3 ability. Um, we're just basically losing out on two toughness uh, as opposed to casting this. So we're utilizing the God Pharaoh's Gift to put in a 4-4 Marionette Master with three additional artifacts into play, we are going to attack. And then hopefully we have either multiple Goblet Engineers in play so we can kind of start swapping. Um, because what Marionette Master does, it says whenever an artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to Marionette Master's power. So with one of these in play, anytime one of our artifacts uh, goes to the graveyard from the battlefield, they're going to lose four life. So we could cycle those around, or we can play, again, one of the cards that people have forgotten about, Ravenous Intruder. Basically, our old friend um, Atog is 
is back in a different form and it's just a one two that says sacrifice an artifact it gets plus two plus two until end of turn so this gives us a free sacrifice outlet for our artifacts and it also could potentially deal a lot of damage so maybe we need this as just an additional damage to get in but we can potentially one shot our opponent because again with god pharaoh's gift in play uh and a ravenous intruder we get to reanimate marionette master which then comes in as a 4-4 four, four haster we get to attack 4-4 four, four, puts them to 16 and then we have three tokens that we can sack so that's four damage each so that brings them down to four and then we could sacrifice the god pharaoh's gift itself to actually deal that final uh those final four damage to deal exactly 20 damage to them so a lot like i said a lot of good synergies this deck um has really good potential we can turn one faithless looting to draw two discard two we actually just immediately set up our combo there so we can put those into play discard god pharaoh's gift marionette master those are the two cards we want in the graveyard anyway turn two we could ravenous intruder and um, set that set up the sack ability and then turn three play a treasure vault because again that is an artifact that we would have in play cast trash for treasure sack the sack the treasure vault bring back god pharaoh's gift and do exactly what i just mentioned about attacking for four with this and then sacking everything to the ravenous intruder and dealing 20 damage to our opponent on turn three so that is what we're going for we also have four copies of insolent Neo neonate because this is a cool uh, card it's going to allow us to uh, discard a card and then draw a card so we can pitch our ex uh, expensive cards that we want to put in our graveyard we have three copies of seize the spoils uh, because again this generates artifacts by creating that treasure token which we will need to potentially sack and it also gives us a potential discard outlet and then we have two other just beefy creatures because they can be good in a reanimation spell uh, shell we have one copy of drake Youseth just to you know deal extra damage to creatures we do have the ability to deal uh, four damage three damage and three damage to three other uh, targets when we're attacking with this so it's really great to get blockers out of the way and then we just have Elishnor and everybody's favorite Frexian Praetor. You know, Elishnor is going to give all of our opponent's creatures minus two, minus two, and then going to give all of our creatures plus two, plus two. So pretty big swing there. This could just wipe out their whole board and then just let us get in. So that is Ravenous Gift. And we are going to take this into the arena, see how we do, and let's just get into these games. And we will talk to everybody at the wrap up. All right, man, we're just hopping right into game one. Let's see what we can do here. Banes by Rig. I think it's to go first. I think this is definitely something we want to keep. <clears throat> turn one, turn two, depending on what we draw. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, definitely... Definitely need to hit a uh, artifact. Hopefully, like an artifact land. We're just gonna get all the uh, <clears throat> all the recursion from our opponent. Okay, not bad. Big action. Let's go get one of our God Pharaoh's gifts. Seems pretty good. So definitely curious as to what our opponent's doing. Okay. They look to just be on a mono black Luris list. And we are going to seize the spoils. Discard a Fable Passage, because we do not need that. Get an artifact in the form of a treasure token, which is super important. Take two here. Gifted Aetherborn. Well, so... Which one do we think is more important to bring back? Elishnorn will kill his token, or his 1-1s, uh, one with potential to bring them back as 3-3s. Three um, Marionette, Marionette Master. That gets in, but the Death Touch, we don't want to deal with that. So I think it's going to be Elishnorn. Definitely going to be Elishnorn here. 
And we'll get in. We'll get to the Etherborn. Can't actually do any damage. Block away, my friend. Block away. Yep, you didn't deal any damage. You actually have to deal damage with Death Touch, not just block with Death Touch. All right, got another another zero one there. We are going to pretty much just end this game, I think, pretty quickly. Put that into play. Let's just go ahead and yeah, let's just attack. So four, three. There we go. Just do it like that. Don't actually have to target the last one. Deal 10 to our opponent. Bring him down to 11. Seems pretty good. And then, depending on what they do, probably scoop. But we get to bring back the Marionette Master and then just kill him immediately. To hover over our cards. We're going to hover over them just like you are. Yeah, Elish Norn is kind of a busted magic card. Oh, minus three, okay. Okay, so you get to do that and, okay. There we go, nice, nice. We'll see. Oh, we've been, we've been muted. We can't actually interact. So. Go ahead and do this. Um, can't actually trash your treasure because we don't actually have a target. And I don't know what, what I was thinking. All right, let's just go ahead and do what we came to do. All the damage. Our opponent did have a bad draw, so we do have to factor that into consideration, but uh, I do think our deck really did what we wanted it to do. So we're, we're kind of slow on, on the artifacts, but yeah, game one. So on to game two. Game two. Let's do it. Let's hydrate. Let's go. I don't know if I've ever showed this off. Oh, yeah. Sweet. All right. Forest. We are playing against Forest. Turn one, turn two. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna keep this. this. Again, not the greatest hand, but, you know, don't always want to, or we don't always get to have um, the best cards in our hand when we start. Oh. We're going to play this just in case we draw our trash for treasure. We do not. All right. So are they playing the crazy? Oh, okay. Oh, it was a decent draw. However, we're just going to go ahead and go get a, another Wellspring. Since we already have the Godfarer's Gift in our hand, I don't want them to think that we're doing anything like completely ridiculously bonkers right now. You know, Godfarer's Gift is pretty insane, but we're just trying to, we're just trying to draw cards. And, yep, do that. Get to draw two. This is really good synergy. Really good synergy. Okay, well.
Again, I'm not really trying to show off what we're doing, but I think we might have to. Let's card two card. One, two. Yeah, again, not trying to show them what we're doing. I think we can hold off till next turn. We do have the potential to draw a bunch of cards next turn. But opponent could just get us, right? One, two, three, four. Blood Artist is really good. So, two, but that's a lot of damage. That's 12 damage, I think. All right, well. Let's do what we do. Draw some cards. All right, need a trash. Need a trash for treasure. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Card, discard. You are not a trash or treasure. Trash or treasure. Oh no. It's our creatures too. Oh no. <clears throat> Come on, forest. Oh, still not a trash or treasure. Let's. Oh, there it is. We could, we could play this. We still have a treasure. I remember we have to worry about dying though, so. No tax. <clears throat> All right, so we're taking two here. I was probably looking for a land, so I'm, I'm assuming that's a land. I think, I think another Blood Artist kills us. Uh, I might do some stuff. Um, I guess we're drawing. Well, a little awkward. So, mm -hmm. so we could engineer in the. Is it worth it? So we're gonna we're gonna play land regardless. To I don't think we're gonna win this game. If I misplay, folks. I am sorry. Card. Well, we only have one artifact, so. Like this marionette master. Get in.
Let's see what our opponent does. <clears throat> it really is going to depend on how they use this Yawgmoth. I'm going to put the counter on the... And they're gaining life, so I, again, I don't think we can win this. Take two? Twenty. Take four. Twelve. Got a seven. Sack this to put them at three. But I think we are dead. I mean, we're dead, right? That was a great draw. So we could just... I mean, I think, I think we're dead. Two, four, six. Oh. So hold on, let's, let's go take a look. So they sack, they sack, they sack. Two, four, six. They sack, that's eight. And they sack. Nine, ten. We're at one. We're at exactly one. Holy moly. Whew. Well, I'm very surprised we won that game. So, all right, on to the next game. All right, on to the next game. All right, Lavi Slant. No idea if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If not, I apologize. Do we want to keep it? Yeah. I mean, we have land, and we can we can do things. So, end of the bugbear into crappy hasty goblin. Am I right? Am I right? So, take action. Um, crazy as it sounds, I think we're just gonna get this. We can't trash for treasure right now, so. I'd be very upset if we draw trash for treasure, but we don't really have any creatures to bring back, so I th think <clears throat> I think we'll be fine. Sure thing, you've you have successfully lava coiled us. All right, so this this go around, we will definitely 
go ahead and grab a God Pharaoh's gift. So if they want to just keep pushing towards our Goblin Engineer that we actually don't need, we just use it really for more of a tutor. I'm um, not going to block. They could have the, you know, one red mana deal one damage. They could, they could have bluffed. Don't know. All right. Take a look here. Draw two. Oh. Definitely get rid of that. And I think the Blood Crypt is... That seem that seems correct, right? And I think we will go ahead and generate ourselves a treasure. All right, we do have a marionette master now. Um, cannot activate quite yet. Yep, don't worry. Take a peek. No attacks. Next turn, we might have to sack this treasure in order to bring back... Please don't play for Bran, of course. Of course you have Tor Bran. Well, that's going to deal us all the damage. Yep, and of course we draw the land, so... Okay. Go, let's do it. Can we kill them? Will they block? They do not block. We can deal 4 to 16. If they don't block, we, we win. Oh no, we don't have a way to sack. Oh no. Oh, we can kill him if we, if we get another turn. But maybe it would have been better to get Drake you, Seth. Drake you, Seth hits for... Seven, no, four, eight, seven. Wipes their board. If, if we get another turn and Godfarer's Gift is on the board, we're definitely winning. Each one of our 1-1s one represents um, four damage to their face. But maybe there's like a world where they goblin chain whirler us and just kill us. That would deal three to us. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We'd be at one. Okay, that's... Pretty good. Okay, that's that's really good for them. Okay. Really, really good. No attacks. So we will. Alright, so we're gonna play this intruder. We're gonna play this neonate. We are gonna activate neonate. Because I mean this is a dead card anyway. Oh, that would have been so sick. Let's get our Drake Seth. We're going to attack. Attack, attack, attack. You're going to deal four, three, and three. And they are going to scoop some goops. Oh, man. That is awesome. Well, I love beating Mono Red, so... All right, next game.
All right, well, on to uh, game number four. Seem to be doing pretty well. Sanctiar. Welcome, my friend, to the game. Interesting hand. Goblin Engineer. Um, but we need card draw and we need a creature. And I hmm. I think we're gonna keep. I know, I know. Interesting, interesting hand. Probably not a keep. Oh. Ooh, what's our opponent doing over there? Alright, so we are. What do we get here? We're gonna get one of these. What is our opponent playing? I am afraid of what they're I'm honest with you. So we could. So I think we are going to start cycling through. That way we can start drawing all the cards every turn, but our opponent just... Oh, this is sweet. Oh, okay. All right. Our opponent's doing... Our opponent's doing cool things. And we really need to draw. Anything that allows us to. So the good thing is we actually gonna we get to discard the hand size. See what our opponent does. I guess if they Mythos of Aluna, the Anointed Procession, that could be good. <clears throat> they might just opt to make two treasures with Strike Strike It Rich, but I'm really not sure. Yep. Are we dead? Well, not dead yet. That's the good news. So, four. We had one more mana. Actually, cancel. Let's draw a card. Let's hope not to get negated here. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're dead. Yeah, I think we're dead, right? So we could have only hit for Could we have won if we would have Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what they do. They have all the mana. Dragon Rich becomes five additional treasures. They're definitely going to start there. I love seeing cool decks like this, right? We literally just played a deck like this, but it was green instead of, instead of white. So we attack. Let's say we attack with just this. Then we bing bing. 
four. Yeah, we we could have won last. We could have won last turn. So I, I mean, I guess we just swap it out, right? Maybe there's a world where we still accidentally win here. But I doubt it. So yeah, we definitely misplayed. We definitely misplayed. Yeah, so we could have goblin engineered a token to go get a anything, right? Like our, our Icker Wellspring. Then we could have done it again to go get our treasure vault. Then we could have treasure vault to make to make zero. So that was essentially our our out. They would have been at exactly exactly dead. It looks like they're actually a little desperate here. So I'm just gonna play this, and I'm going to attack with this and this should give us lethal so omen of the sun we're gonna respond yep we're gonna respond again And I don't think they realize that we can make zero because these are artifact lands. Awesome. Wow, we, we pulled that out. A little bit of a misplay, but uh, we were able to identify the fact that we did misplay immediately. And we got there. So good game. Good game, my friend. All right. Well, we are cruising along with this deck. This is pretty impressive. Actually took my headphones off for a second right before that last game. So Alright, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? We get to discard a marionette master. We don't have any way to search out. We don't have I mean we've had worse hands, right? We've definitely had worse hands. Let's do it to it. Let's do it to it. So we drew. I think we are going to. Yep. All right, so that's good. So they only have access to two mana this turn. Ooh, they're on green black. Okay. I did not expect that. All right, so we are going to Goblin Engineer, and I think we just have to go for it, right? We just have to go for the old God Pharaoh's Gifts and hope that we get there in the next two turns. I think our opponent's going to have a pretty explosive uh, pop here, so... All right, so this gets plus one, plus one. You can you can kill that. That's fine. We don't we don't actually need that. Just a it's just a target for your removal. All right. Well, we are gonna seize some spoils. Right and. Not gonna not gonna drop out the neonate. I don't really think gonna do okay, so definitely elves. Oh, this is not good. They actually have a card. Alright, let's do it. Let's discard. We have a God Pharaoh's gift. This card. Um, let's go ahead and get a Icker Wellspring going. Yep, yep. Let's end the turn. So. 
they're definitely going to... Um, I feel like they're going to get rid of our God Pharaoh's Gift as well as our Marionette Master. Oh, they're... Okay. You don't want, you don't want God Pharaoh's Gift? Okay. Yeah, sure. Take two. And we are just gonna hit the nuts. Let's let's go for the nuts here. Not the nuts. Not the nuts. Play that into this. Returns a creature or land. Oh, look at that. No text. So probably gonna get a castle locked, Dwayne. Fable passage, okay. Not not playing how I thought they would be playing. Mill three cards. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Ooh, do you... So we are going to block and block. We are going to do some sacking. Oh man, now here's the here's the question. We let this die. How greedy are we? Yep. I think we have to do that. Be a little upset if our next our next card is gonna be an artifact land. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right, let's go. What are we getting back? Um, yep, we're gonna take action. I think we go and get another God Pharaoh's gift. Do we attack? That's the question. Uh, no attacks. So we're actually in a, a relatively okay-ish spot. Okay. Oh, I, I like uh, some Drake, you Seth. So we're going to, we're actually going to cycle, right? Because we get to do this again. Oh, yep. Let's go. Let's cycle. Let's trash for treasure. Opponent's probably thinking, what is going on? We're, we're really looking for Elish and Orn. Um, that's pretty good too. And but let's see, what do we kill here? Let's let's read this return, blah blah blah. Alright, so we're gonna deal four to this, three to this, three to this. Four, three, three. Give 
them some cards. They take some damage. All right, let's do it to it. Or if they get rid of our uh, faithless looting again. I did think that was a, a weird pull. Goblin engineer and intruder. Okay. Make creatures we have left. Oh, we still got we still got creatures. All right, so it's only this turn when they attack. Our elves are gonna get min or our creatures are gonna get minus one minus one target creature so they really have to make a decision a cast down sure i mean they're not doing a whole lot right now that's really good Right? So... We are gonna discard. We are gonna discard. Um, we have seven mana actually, so we're just gonna... Five, six, we go to two. Yep, no blocks. All right, let's just, let's just do it to it. Units. And yep, that is the game. Toll and Tizzle, it was a great game. Great game, my friend, really close. Um, but we will see you the next time. So let's just hop in the next game. Ooh, that was a close go. Ooh, in immediate pairing. All right. Who shall our opponent be on this beautiful Wednesday, Thursday when you're watching this? Batty Boy 620. All right. Let's go. Um, not a horrible hand. Not a great hand. This should probably be a mulligan. But we're gonna... We're gonna let it ride. We're gonna get some beats out. I want our opponent to kind of wonder what we're, what we're doing. Okay, so they're, they're on the combo deck. This is definitely a matchup where we want to see our. Let's see. We definitely want to see Elish Norn. What is the best way to do? I think we just run this out, to be 100% honest with you, and then we're going to get in for one. So maybe it was maybe it was correct to faithless looting, but all right, they're back at twenty. We got another treasure. Pretty good. That shall be a four four. And they get to scry. That card is really powerful. Just be, I mean, because of the scry ability. All right. Well, we're not blocking. We actually did draw a trash for treasure. So yep we definitely played this incorrectly
Oh, holy moly. Attack of the 50 foot woman. All right. Well, um, no blocks. I think, I think we have to keep up all the potential. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and get a Icker Wellspring out of here and a Godfarer's gift in its place. And let's get in. So maybe they block here, so four twenty. Yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty good here. Pretty sure we win, regardless of how they block. So, get to say, sack an artifact. 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 And sack an artifact. Perfect. Exaxes without actually dealing combat damage. So that was that was a pretty sweet turn. So woo. Woo woo woo. Next game. Final boss time. Alright, well we have been practicing our deck for this battle here. So let the final battle begin. Let's go. Opponent goes first. This is a mulligan. This is also a mulligan, so... Keep five. We can put that back. And we can put this back as well. So we do have a pretty quick trash for treasure if we want to. But I think we are going to need to actually set this up. Yep, yep, yep. I forgot why it, why it sorted them like that. That's pretty good. The question though, the question. <clears throat> we we block. This actually comes back into play. I don't actually hate this. And yep. And we could set it up next turn. All right, let's go ahead and grab another one. Do we attack? Do we attack? Or, yeah, I think we do. Very confused as to why they didn't activate that. Oh. Alright, well it just kinda just kinda worked out for them in the end, huh? Yep, yep. Alright, well. Let's see what happens. Well, that was a great draw. Ooh. Use the spoils. 
That was probably our best draw. They had no idea it was coming. Good game. Good game, my friend. Good game. Ooh, that felt good to beat goblins that last game. Holy moly. Whew, man. I do not like goblins. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know if I've ever mentioned goblins and my, you know, my hatred for them. But, hey. That was a 7-0. Oh. Holy moly. Let's talk about that. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the wrap-up. And that was pretty sick. So, we went a... I mean, we went a pretty commanding 7-0. Uh, I, I do think there were a couple games that maybe were kind of up in the air. Um, I think it was game number two where we were playing against the Blood Artist deck. And then after we looked at the math and everything, we were actually, we would have been at one at the end of the game. So that was a super close game. Really cool to see. Uh, and then again, super glad that we just were able to stomp Goblins, um, you know, that very last match. So always always happy to just destroy goblins yeah they they had a great draw but ours was just a little bit quicker um they probably didn't expect the marionette master because i mean we did put it in the graveyard that turn that we won so uh yeah props to marionette master god pharaoh's gift actually working uh, as intended goblin engineer um i would say definitely an mvp of this deck um obviously besides the the focal point but goblin engineer super powerful um, you know, being able to go back and forth with Icker Wellsprings on multiple turns is really, really sick. Um, being able to bring our, our treasure vaults into play off of the Icker Wellsprings, drawing a card, you know, putting a land into play, really, really good. Uh, again, another MVP is just treasure vault itself being an artifact as, as a way to finish our opponent, um, as you know, with Marionette Master, just being able to sack this itself, um, you know, it it has a it has a tap ability just on its own. We can just pay zero in it and sacrifice it. We don't even necessarily need the intruder. So um, really good there. And yeah, there were some games where we misplayed, and and I do think we were able to identify them quickly enough to know that it was an immediate misplay. And again, with decks like these, especially when you are not used to playing them, uh, and and especially in a sense when whenever I'm playing decks, I play so many different decks that um you know you forget interactions happen a certain way so you really have to be on your a game whenever you're you know when you're playing competitively and i'm not saying that i'm playing competitively at all but whenever you play these decks you just have to remember all these interactions so yeah sometimes i forget mistakes happen um but again at the end of the day it is a game and we're here to have fun um but you know i always do kind of uh you know kick myself whenever i do make some mistakes and just knowing and you know and i feel like some of the misplays that we made may have not even been misplays at the time they actually just turned into different ways for us to win you know maybe going a different path instead of just trying to force out the faithless looting on turn one into you know discarding maybe cards that weren't optimal but uh everything worked out and we crushed it so uh yeah i recommend this deck um only if you have the cards again pretty expensive deck to build um i figure by now though if you're if you've been playing a lot of historic you've been following my channel um you know we've definitely played god, god pharaoh's gift multiple times so you probably have these uh marionette master is kind of uh hit or miss you know you might have you might have these you might not but if you could just you could just put this into a god pharaoh's gift shell and i think crafting the goblin engineers to actually turn god pharaoh's gift on a little bit faster is just great and insolent neonate in this deck is is just insane you you know you can sack sack it Put God Pharaoh's gift into the graveyard, trash for treasure, the God Pharaoh's gift back, and then you have it, and then you could potentially get another insolent neonate, immediately have a 4 4. So you could start your combo. Maybe you have one of the other big beaters in your hand. And so for next turn, you could just sack this and then just really just get going. So um great, great deck, a lot of fun. Um, I, I really hope you guys enjoy this deck. Uh, again, 
give it a shot if you have the cards. Uh, let me know what you think about it, maybe different builds that you've seen. I know I've seen some with the crazy um, giant angel that you can, you know, choose uh, a permit or a, a card type and gain protection from that. But, you know, we're not here to do that. We're here to just marionette master our opponent out and just have some fun. So, uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all those cool links down below. Uh, if anything, join the Discord. Would love to have you. Um, and yeah, anything you do to help interact with the channel, it's all it's all free. So anything you do helps. But with that being said, everybody, please stay safe. We will see you next time. Oh,